Hey guys, in this video I just wanted to take a quick look at the expansion batteries from Blue Eddy. Now this is the AC200L, that is the B230, and this is the B300. So one thing I've noticed after receiving these products is orientation of how your setup is going to be. So something that you're going to need to keep in mind when you want to purchase this system is how you're going to be setting it up. The way that I want to set mine up is I want to stack my units. So I want to have this main unit on the bottom and I want to put this B230 on top. That has limitations with the B300. Let's move these around. So with the B300, it's an amazing unit. You can actually charge it separately from the main unit. Uh, you can also hook solar directly up to it and we have ports on the front side of the unit here. So we have our state of charge. We have a cigarette lighter, one USB-A 18 watt and one USB-C 100 watts and a power button. Now with this being on the front of the unit, it is gonna actually be limiting. On the AC200L, the connection port for the battery is here on the side. And you're gonna want this front facing so that you can see all this display and everything. But the only problem is, is the connection port for the battery is on the side here. So you can't actually stack the AC200L with the B300 and I'll show you. So if we stack them here, and this is the cable that comes with the unit, um, I would say it's a good three foot cable. And once you plug into the battery, you can't get over to the connection port on the AC200L because it is on this side here. So with the B200, connection ports are on this side here, but there is nothing on the front here, and there is nothing on the front here. Everything is on the side, which means that you can actually turn this around 180 degrees, whichever way you would like. So now if we stack them, we can actually make our connection. So now we can connect the two batteries together. Now, if you actually wanted to use the 300, then you're gonna have to have it oriented over here so you can see the face plate and plug it in. So you're gonna have to put the units beside each other instead of having the capability of stacking. So I just thought that was an important detail that you guys should know if you're planning on getting an expansion battery. Now this unit here by itself has just over two kilowatts. If you add that, you'll have four kilowatts. And if you add these two, you'll have five kilowatts, over five kilowatts. So you are expanding your battery pretty substantially, but I just think that knowing about the orientation of the batteries and how to actually connect them together is pretty important. So I hope you guys found this educational. Maybe you're thinking about purchasing these and you have a setup already in mind. I just thought you should know about the different orientations. Uh, I'm gonna have more video testing. I actually have a video that I'm testing with just this unit here. I have a CT sensor on an extension cord that is powering a bunch of stuff in my house. I'm gonna do that for about a week, get a good three day uh, average. And then I'm gonna connect the Blue Yeti and get a good uh, five days, three day average and see if I'm actually saving money by using their new uh, UPS function. So look forward to that video coming up soon. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Bye.